Okay, guys, we're going to go through how to use the Madventure 360 camera to take excellent 360 degree photos of your house. Now, first, you want to remember that you have to use the little tripod addition in order to elevate it above the tripod so that it doesn't get in the photos. The next thing you do is turn on the camera and then hit the Wi Fi button. The camera has a light on the front and you want that direction facing the main subject of your photo. So now I'm gonna readjust my tripod so that it's nice and level. Then, come on over here. What we do is we hit the Madventure app and it'll ask us to connect to Wi-Fi. So right now it's looking for Wi-Fi and MJX is the camera. It's now connected. So, when we go back to the app, we can then see, the camera can now see in 360 degrees. Look, there we are. So then what you want to do, since we're outdoors, but we want this house to be lit correctly, is we're going to just adjust the lighting slightly by going to the exposure and bringing the lighting a little bit brighter for this particular photo, and then we don't want to be in the photo, so come with me. We're going to go around the corner and hide from the camera. Come around here so you're not in it. And then you can check to make sure you're not in that photo. Now we notice the lighting is a little bit blown out, so I'm just going to turn it down a bit. There you have it. Hit the button. And there's your 360 degree picture taken. Guys, it's just that easy. And in the next part of the video, I will show you how to photograph an interior room, and then we'll show you how to stitch those photos together on the app. All right, welcome to the Social Isolation Station. We are here in my house. And uh, the reason we're doing it in this tiny little hallway showing you how to use the Madventure 360 indoors is because well, it's easy to take photos inside of a big room. You pop the camera in the center of the room, walk yourself around the corner, hit the go button, and then walk yourself back into the frame and move the camera to the next room. But we're using this tiny little hallway to demonstrate that you need to take photos in a really small hallway. That way people can see around the corners and into all the rooms you wanna go in. Now, this camera has lenses facing that way and also the other direction. However, because of the nature of the lenses, you can also see sideways into this bathroom and you can see through this doorway right here, even though the camera is positioned here. And I'll show you what I mean. So if we just have a look at the phone, you can see into the bathroom, you can see into that bedroom, and you can see into that doorway from right where the camera is. So what you would do to get this hallway captured properly is duck out of the way. Tap the button to take the photo and it's just that easy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put that picture on the computer and I'm going to show you how you link the rooms together and how easy it is to edit a virtual tour. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the Virtual Tours Creator app to link the files together that you've captured at the house you want to show on a virtual tour. I'm going to log myself in, and by the way, if you want to try this before purchasing an account, they have a free section where you can have a free login and download six photos from Virtual Tours Creator and try to create a tour yourself to see how easy it is. So let's say our house is at number two, Smith Street, Smithville. Create tour. I'm going to choose my files to upload, and I've chosen number nine Upwood Street Cooper's Plains, which I shot recently, because it's a relatively simple house with a pretty simple layout. Now you can only upload ten pictures at a time, but don't worry, you can add the rest later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to hit open. And then you have to label all of these photos to make it easy to navigate for your uh, potential clients. So we'll say this one is the front of the house. 
and this is the left side and this is the backyard and this is the right side and this is the living room and this is a bedroom and this is a hallway and this is a bathroom that should give us enough to work with I'll label this bedroom as well then you hit save panorama to tour and because the files from these cameras are quite large at 7k it does take a little bit of time to upload them to the web so while those are uploading and we're, we're waiting I'll describe a little bit about what we're gonna do once the files are uploaded to virtual tours you can look around all of your files in 360 degrees and then you can choose points for either information or to click to the next location on your tour and I'll show you how that works in just a second so right now it's loaded all 10 all right now this one I forgot to label this one's the kitchen but I don't want to start in the kitchen I want to start somewhere practical so let's start in the front of the house so as you can see we can see a full 360 degrees of the front of the house but what about the tripod this is where you upload your logo to virtual tours creator and that way it covers your tripod now my external tripod has a big handle so it does stick out a little bit but the ones from virtual tours creator do not so where are we going to go from the front of the house we're going to go to the left hand side of the house so you left click create hotspot and then choose left side of house watch this when we click there we go directly to the left side of the house now something important to note is the camera might not always be facing the right direction when you choose the photo you want and you want everyone to start with each photo looking in a direction that makes sense so what you do is right click choose set initial view and there you have it now I want to show you how we get back to the front of the house so I'm going to choose a spot click create hotspot front of house then we can go back to the front of the house but as you can see the camera's not facing the right direction so we'll choose the right direction for the camera to face click set initial view then we can go to the left side of the house and back to the front of the house and both are facing the right direction so we'll just continue to navigate around the house by going to the backyard clicking create hotspot backyard going there choosing the right view click set initial view don't forget you have to set the left side of the house where we came from and set the right side of the house where we're going to so we'll go to the right side of the house choose the right view click set initial view and then click here to add a backyard hotspot and click here to add a front of house hotspot and now we can easily navigate around the entire house by using our hotspots it's just that easy so let's go inside the house I'm going to click on the front door and create a hotspot that goes into the living room so we'll go into the living room right so here's the living room of the house and there's not a lot of distinctive features in this living room so I'm going to make the initial view somewhere easy to navigate from so we'll go set initial view because that'll take us here into the hall remember how I said it's important to take hall photos so if we right click and say create hotspot hallway we can then go into the hallway this is the hallway of the house and I think naturally most people would be looking in this direction when they enter the hallway so I'm gonna click set initial view and then choose create hotspot bedroom one create hotspot bedroom two and create hotspot bathroom but what if we clicked the wrong hotspot I've clicked kitchen watch what happens when we go to kitchen now we're clicking on the bathroom and going to the kitchen well that's no good so what we do is we scroll down the photos on the left to find that hallway again go to our hotspot in the bathroom that's no good and remove it then we right click 
create hotspot, and we find the bathroom. So let's go into the bathroom. It's not much of a bathroom to look at, but I think this is probably the best view. So I'm going to click right, create hotspot, nope, right click, set initial view, and then right click here, create hotspot, and go back to the hallway. So now we'll double check it exactly as we expected. Now, bedroom two. Looks okay. How about we set the initial view this way? Right click, set initial view. Don't forget to go to the doorway, right click, create hotspot, hallway. And I'll just do one more room for you to show you how it works. Here's the kitchen. Right click, create hotspot, kitchen. Now, when you're making these hotspots, remember 90% of your audience is going to be viewing them on the phone, so you don't want them too close together. You might be tempted to say, right click, create hotspot, bedroom three. Oh, bedroom three isn't on there yet. That's when you go here, add next panorama, choose files to upload, and then the remaining files are here, here, and here. We can open them and Virtual Tours Creator will load them. What you'll have to do is label them. Bedroom three. Uh, back step. And patio. Save panorama to tour. Now I'm not going to go through loading all those because I've shown you the basic instructions, but we will wait for them to load. Right. So we ended up on the patio, but we haven't had any directions from there. That's okay, because from the patio we know we're going to the backyard. Create hotspot, backyard. But before you go to the backyard, don't forget, you want to create that initial view. I like this scene, so we're going to create, uh, nope, not create hotspot, we're going to say set initial view, and then we can go to the backyard and realize that the patio is here. So we right click, create hotspot, Patio. Let's go back inside the house for one more quick thing. This is the living room, remember? And now we're in the hallway. I wanted to show you what I was talking about with hotspots. Here you have the kitchen, and you might be tempted to put the hotspot for the bedroom just here. Create hotspot, bedroom three. But these are really close together, which is fine on the computer, but not really good on a phone. So I'm going to remove that hotspot and put it over here. Create hotspot, bedroom three, because on a phone it'll be easier for someone to navigate between these two rooms. And as you can see, bedroom three already links to that third bedroom, and all you'll have to do is set your initial view, create hotspot, nope, wrong button, set initial view, and link back to the hallway. And there you have it. Bedroom three is done, kitchen is ready to go, just have to go back to the hallway. So it's that easy to set up a house, folks. Of course, larger houses are a little bit more complicated. You sort of have to have a picture in your mind of how the house was set up. It's much easier if you've taken the photos yourself than if you send someone to take the photos and try to piece the house together like a puzzle. So now that you've created your tour, how do you get your buyers and potentially renters to see that tour? Well, it's quite easy. Have a look here where it says share. When you click there, you'll end up with a link. You just hit this button to copy the link. And then for example, on Facebook, you go to your page and you type or you hit paste and it automatically loads a preview for you. So then you would say something like, this house is cool, or preferably the address, the number of bedrooms, any inspection details. I'm sure as a real estate agent, you're creative. Nonetheless, this is what gets posted to your Facebook feed or your business Facebook feed. And then when your clients or potential clients go to have a look at it, all they have to do is click the button and they go right to virtual tour where they can go to the living room, the hallway, the bedrooms, etc., etc. By the way, 
hang on a sec, I'll just delete this off my Facebook. By the way, sometimes that tour you made, um, sometimes the front of the house is not your featured photo. So what do you do if it's a spectacular deck that you want to feature on social media or in realestate.com.au for your 360 degree tour? Well, that's quite easy. When you go to edit, you then choose the room you want to use and let's say it is this fantastic kitchen. You right click and hit set start panorama. Then when you go back to share the tour, the starting panorama is the photo that you've just chosen. It's that easy. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, basics on how to use Virtual Tours Creator to make virtual tours and how to use the camera. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, simply send me a Facebook message or give me a call, and I'm more than happy to talk you through which camera is good for you, how to use them, and how to use this particular software. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.